The town hall was filled this weekend as the big breakfast hosted by Team Tranquil brought people in for the good old fly up and some fun activities. The kitchen was absolutely buzzing with activity as volunteer chefs and waiters quickly prepared 310 eggs and 170 cooked meals for the hungry visitors. The food proved a hit as the queues stretched out of the door. This is the third year that the Big Breakfast has happened, with all proceeds going to help fund mental health support in the islands. Every year, as near to World Men Mental Health Day as we can, 10th of October, we do a function. So we changed three years ago to doing this Big Breakfast. There's all sorts of things going on here that everyone can join in. So it's a popular event for the whole family, and that's what we want to do. We can get them all together, and then if anyone has got a little problem, or they want to ask about something, they can do that, you know, whilst, whilst they're here. I've had a few people, quite a few people, come and say, what do you, you know, what do you do? How can I approach if I've got this problem? Where do I go for that? So it's not just that we, we can signpost people to places that they, where we know that they will get the professional help that they need. So it's all to bring any problem with mental ill health to the fore. Breakfast wasn't the only thing on offer, however, as the Falklands Line Dancing Club stopped by for the quick honky tonk hoedown. While they were busy breaking it down on the dance floor, the spinners and weavers, Falklands Conservation, Support Matters, and more set up stalls to show what they can do to help support people's mental health. We're a volunteer support organisation and we support people with long term conditions emotionally, physically, helping them. Um, and we meet twice a month or every other Monday. Next meeting is the 21st. We meet 6 to 7 p.m. at 8 Thatcher Drive. It's mainly to be there and to listen because people have long-term conditions. They have pain, they have uh, mobility problems, and it's talking, coming to see us, having somebody else to talk to, so we're there just to support emotionally, but the group as a whole has identified some problems that we can help with with getting projects done. Yeah, so today you are inside of our, it's our Tussock uh, shower, um, nature shower, that was the idea of it. Um, it's uh, not as uh, lush as we were hoping because uh, it's not a good idea to be digging up native tussock, but uh, if you can use your imagination then you're in a grassy knoll with a waterfall. Um, and uh, so the idea is um, just to remind people that uh, how important nature is for um, their mental health and um, to take some time out as much as you can to get into nature, turn off your cell phone, be with people and um, yeah, just uh, mentally unwind in, the, in nature. So in my case, um, I think it's probably a good, good example of um, something for my mental health. Um, I've always been, all my life, I've bit my nails really badly to the extent that they, they would bleed. I bit them right down to the nib. And I decided that I wanted to give up this bad habit. So I needed to do something other than bite my nails. So I taught myself how to crochet. And this means that both my hands are occupied as I make these little squares. And, I, and I'll keep making squares until I have enough to sew together like this and then I'll be able to make myself a blanket and I'll look back with my beautiful nails and say I did that and I think that's really good but also for the weaving and the spinning it's very calming, very um, absorbing. You, you, you think about what you're doing, I, for me personally, I think about what I'm doing more than I think about the things that worry me and trouble me and at the Spinners Guild, there's a gathering of people, usually on a Thursday and on a, on a Monday. And to, so sitting in a circle as the, as the spinners are with half a dozen people and you can chat or not chat, depending on what you want to do. And um, it's, it's a really lovely thing to do and very calming, I, I find.
I even got stuck in doing a bit of knitting, crocheting and weaving myself. While it was very relaxing, I still have a while to go before I'm making any Christmas jumpers. Once the breakfast was all over, the donations could be counted and the local community proved their generosity once again. £1,350.66 was raised which will go a long way to ensuring that people who may be struggling with their mental health can get the support they need.